everybody, I'm here at my messy desk for a, another video. You can see I got something in the mail today. Um, all I did was cut it open, but I was kind of going through stuff, hoping for this to arrive. So like I pulled out some inserts, I've been trying different things this month. Um, a new art journal insert that normally has swatches, but I'm actually trying to make art. Um, I want to do something with her for the cover. I don't know. So I've <laughs> got my watercolors and brushes, and I did a quick little Instagram post of this. It is the Drama Sticks by Jane Davenport Tin, and I put my 36 Jane Davenports plus the only two Daniel Smith I have, the Prussian Blue and the um, Duochrome Blue. Of course, I have to have my St. Petersburg uh, watercolors. Oh no! Those are, this is my little favorite travel palette of 12, really good for mixing. Some bookmarks, some inserts, some Sheet Sparrow B6 Slim dashboards, you name it. <laughs> I've got mess on the table. I just poured myself a cup of tea, so I'm gonna put my sweetener in. You guys have to try this. This is the Tower of London blend. I'll try to get rid of the glare from Harney and Sons. Um, it, I was only able to get it either in loose leaf or in these little tins um, that hold five um, tea bags, so they're great for travel, but then also when you're done, you could either refill it with more teas or you could fill it with watercolors because it's it's a great little tin, so I just thought I would share that. And also look at that, it's like this beautiful metallic pinky purple. So, so you can see I got something here from Jennifer Harvey at Chic Sparrow. And it was from the Second Chance Sale. And there's that. So we'll set the pouch aside. And it came with one of the cute little birds. Oh, Ooh, he came off easy. He'll be able to go into my notebook. And you can see it says Chic Sparrow underneath the little sparrow. And I love this paper that they use and the yellow inside. And usually there's like a Washington sticker. There we go. A Washington sticker, another little bird, and their business card. They don't put the fancy sticker in this because it is a, um, what's it called? How do I say? It is a um, second chance. Those I think only go in the brand new items because I got one when I got my toffee Mr. Darcy in the nano size. So I ordered a B6 Slim um, because I wanted to use a Chic Sparrow B6 Slim because they tend to be a little bit more, um, oh, they have a little bit more room for some stuff and I want to put like my watercolor journal in there. And I had been using this beautiful boho dory, but this is a personal size that I've, you know, kind of crammed a bunch of B6 Slim and some, yeah, B6 Slim stuff in there, B6 Slim folders and zipper pouch and inserts that I made. So I have no idea what leather this is. I didn't look at the, it feels like a Darcy or a Pemberley, but it's really hard to tell. So let's see. Oh, this is, um, what's that red stone? Garnet, it's garnet. That's what it is. That is gorgeous. And it's actually a little bit of a firmer one. I have um, a black pocket in the Pemberley. I can't remember what that color is called, but it's, 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 it's black. It's like the ink. Um, but this is a little bit firmer, which actually I'm quite okay with. And it comes with the white elastic. 
which I might over time switch to a um, like a dark brown or a black elastic, but for right now I'm gonna keep that. But I just want to show you the difference in size. It's actually quite a bit different. So I think I'll be able to fit more stuff in here. And I have no idea why this is a second chance. Like there's no major scratches or blemishes. Um, there's just that line which all traveler's notebooks get from the elastic. Um, hmm. It looks like it's cut straight. <laughs> maybe it was just, um, I don't know. Or maybe because it's a little bit firmer, they're usually a little bit more pliable. I don't know, it's gorgeous. Um, and let's see. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here. I've got, um, like here's my um, Tomoe River insert that I made. This is a little guy that I did towards the middle of this week, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and actually these, Bookmarks will go well with it. I have a couple of others that I can use. Um, but see, look how beautiful this mustard is. What I'm gonna do is, I had gotten some paint on it, and so I'm going to try cleaning it with like the Coach leather cleaner, and then seeing if I can get it nice and clean. But I wanted to see what this stuff looks like in here. So here is my B6 Slim Zipper Pouch. This I got from Taroko Shop, which is the exact same place where I got this uh, writing board, which I cut down. That's some Coco Daisy washi tape. Um, let's see. Here's my doo -doo -doo. insert. This is a Tomoe River paper insert, which has like, like 100 pages or 120, but they're so thin that, you know. Let's put it on this one. Then I have a, um, this is a growing up goddess, her Hobonichi style undated daily that I've been using. So we're gonna put that in there. And then what I have, oops, here we go. And then this right here, I have, um, this is a passport dashboard, a personal size dashboard, and um, a B6 Slim insert that I really cut down short. Um, but I also have, these are the Chic Sparrow dashboards, which tend to be slightly larger than, um, a typical B6 Slim. And that's why I never used them in my other B6 Slim notebooks because they're just a little bit on the large size, but oh my goodness, <laughs> look at that. There is still a ton of room for lots more stuff in there. Look at that, Ooh, let me get those out of the way. So, there you go, just a quick little, and actually those look nice. Or, I have a couple of more of these. These are from Babette, and it's like it says there, not just knots. Um, see, that's a standard one. This is a standard Midori size. This is a B6 Slim, wait, these I think I got from Cric Cric Creation. These I got from Babette. And I've got um, two more, I think, that are B6 size. I've got this dark brown one, and then I've got this, what she calls um, inky pink. That's a B6 limb as well. Um, actually, I might put the brown one in. 
let's see what that looks like. We'll just for right now just wrap it around my um, zipper pouch since I'm not sure exactly where I want it. Let's see. Look, don't those look great down there? Really nice. But the main reason I got this is because, oh no, I dropped it. One moment, it fell. We're back. So I have this insert with a new cute little bird. And um, for right now, what I'll do is I'll put this insert on this elastic. See, I'm having trouble. <laughs> like it's, okay. I'm sure many of you come here to watch me struggle. I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> there we go. So there's that insert. Now, this is a um, watercolor paper insert that I used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used eight pieces of watercolor paper, folded in half, and then cut down to the uh, B6 slim size. And then I just stitched it in the center. No, no fancy Copic stitching for me, or co co Copic, Copic, I don't know. Um, but look at that. It holds all of that stuff. No, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna keep all of this stuff in there. But look at that. Ooh, that's quite hefty when you add the watercolor insert into it. But I'm gonna keep the watercolor insert specifically in here. I don't know. We'll we'll see. So that way this the watercolor insert could be the at home having fun stuff, and then I could use my Tomoe River insert on the go to plan what I want to do in my insert. Hmm. We will see. So that's all I have for you today. Just a quick little unboxing and a talk through a bunch of the junk <laughs> that I have. Well, it's not junk. It's just it looks like a mess on my desk right now. Um, so I will link down below Chic Sparrow since you saw a lot of Chic Sparrow. Those are beautiful fall colors. I think this was the Garnet, the Toffee, and then this is a Passport in the Black Beauty, just a standard Passport. Hmm, that's so pretty. Kind of wish it had stitching, but it's a second chance. You never know what you're going to get. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I will be back uh, in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.